it gets so late already. I should get to bed. Oh, shoot! I was gonna start the video, but then that happened. It's fine. I'll just start the video now. Hello, everyone. My name is Apple Guy, and welcome back to another episode of my blind ish playthrough of Nancy Drew's Shadow at the Water's Edge. In the previous video, we saw a bunch of Sudoku, and it was, uh, you know, solving math puzzles. Anyway, thanks to a very helpful comment, I know that this is the train ticket. <laughs> And as such, we can now move on and explore the rest of Japan. Uh, that thing that happened at the end of the game uh, was because this game, or the end of, or not the end, just right now, is because there is a, I um, need a dictionary to translate okay, that. You really? I already translated it. There we go. Perfect. All right. Anyway, so pause. What happened at the end, like a couple seconds ago, is just because I ran out the clock. Uh, that's fine. This game has like a, a day night cycle sort of thing because Nancy's supposed to be teaching. Uh, so it'll cycle through then. The music in the subway is an absolute banger. It's so amazing. All right, so we need to get to Kyoto. I don't actually remember where I need to go. M uh, Matsue, maybe? Um, I know there's a couple of places we need to go. So let's work to... Where is Kyoto? Is Kyoto on the map? It's got to be. There's Kyoto. So, uh, I think it's Matsue. So let's head to Matsue. Matsue means we need to go to Iga, which means Fuji, which means Asahi, which means Saitama, which means Kurume, which means Kofu, uh, which means Toyana, which means Seto, which means Togichi, which means Kochi, which means Aimura, which means Soto and Nagawa. Okay. I guarantee that made not a lot of sense, but we have to pick these different locations and um, we will go along the trail. So now we go to Otsu, Aomori. I know I'm pronouncing these terribly, I'm sorry. Kochi. I also don't know why I still have the gosh darn thing in my hand. Uh, where do we go next? To... Kochigi? Okay, and then K Kochigi to Seto, I believe. Seto to... Toyama to Kofu to Kurume. Uh... Oh, uh, I can go right to Kofu. Okay. Kofu. Okay. Oh, I figured I had to go to Tayami first, then go to Kofu. Whatever. Skip a step. To Kurume. To Satayama? That's... Is Satayama not a place? Ah, oh, it is not a place. Okay. I still... I need to get to Matsue. Uh, Miyazaki might help me get there. Let's try Miyazaki. Uh, basically, we need to- I can't get to me- I can get to Urawa. Where is that? All the way here. Urawa to Miyazaki. Let's try that. Urawa? We're trying to get to the Matsue, I believe. By the way, these are all Japanese cities, uh, at least I think so. And I'm probably pronouncing them wrong. Uh, Miyazaki? Where can I go from there? Kobe? Um, Kobe might actually help. Yeah, let's go to Kobe. Kobe. Oh, we're getting the great train station music again. Love that song. To Iga, to Matsue. And I believe Matsue is the other location in the game. There's also one more. Let's see, though. Can we back out now? We can. There is something at Matsue. What is it? Aha! Matsue has the expo hall. Where's your ticket? So this is where the expo is. We try and go in there. Um, nothing but bad stuff happens. There is a stand here to purchase bento, but it appears nobody is working it. That is totally fine. Okay, so let's, I guess, go back to the train station then. Thankfully now we can just go right to Misawa. Um, we don't have to do any of that again. Um, I don't remember where the games corner is. Uh, that's fine. Why don't we go bother uh, Rentoro some more? That's probably what we need to do to progress. Uh, let's see. Rentero, do you have anything hey. for us? Uh, oh, is that the portrait from the lobby? Is that the portrait from the lobby? This is progress. Yeah, I'm reframing it. Although it's way harder to do than I thought it would be. It's got a really strange backing. Would you like some help? I'm sure we can have take care it? of it. This thing is officially making me nuts. The tools you'll need are near the frame. All right, let's take a peek at it. It looks like I need to find a way to make sure none of the wires all right. are crossing. So we need to make all of these wires not cross. Which means that some of these are going to be things that we have to move. 
to get away from other things, which doesn't really make sense. My goal here is to just kind of start grabbing things that are definitely endpoints and just moving them to the edge. Sort of taking it like one step at a time. That's definitely going to be somewhere near the middle. Um, so if this, let's see, what, what else is another like endpoint? That's definitely an endpoint. This has to go down there, which has to go up there. This has to go over here. This also has to go over here. Hmm. We have to make sure none of these things cross. Heaven's sakes, this is going to be a little tricky. Okay. That's a good start right there. Right now, none of these are crossing each other. Um, so let me move this to the edge, that to the edge. This one's a bit tricky because this will have to go here, which will have to go here next to it. Sort of taking it just one step at a time. Okay. This one's got a lot going on with it, so I will leave that one there temporarily. Uh, it is possible that I am nowhere near a solution to this puzzle. Entirely possible. Okay. It's also entirely possible that I really don't quite know what an objective is. Because maybe I'm approaching this all wrong. It's getting intense puzzle solving music. Do 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 do. Okay, what if that goes up there? This, see, that just natively crosses things. Yeah, this is a big mess of spaghetti. This, this reminds me of when I was building my, my computer for the very first time. Gosh, there was so much wire spaghetti going on there. So, so much. Just everything was connected to everything. All right. Jeez, pieces like this are the problem because they just, they're connected to everything. And this game doesn't have a hint system or anything. And I did choose the harder of the two difficulties because I figured, you know, I'm a grown up. I go to college. <laughs> I should solve this, right? Imagine someone sees this video and they're like, we were going to hire you, but you couldn't solve that puzzle by yourself. That's a big part of the job, you know? And I'm like, it is, is it? They're like, yeah, it kind of is. Sorry, and I'm like, uh, gosh, whatever. Gosh darn Nancy Drew game. Always causing me pain. Although, honestly, might be having some sort of a success right about now. I'm just noticing small places where they cross and trying to find a quick solution for that. And honestly, it just really doesn't seem like there's gonna be one. What is this attached to? These three. So that means it needs to be in the center of those three. Right? That makes sense, yes. Okay, so that needs to move. Gosh, what is happening? <laughs> it's okay, I'm going to solve it eventually. That can go there. Can this move over a little bit more? Yes. Like, a lot more, maybe? No, because that crosses lines. Why do lines have to exist? Dude, I had it for a little bit. I swear I had a, I had a solution in mind. And even if I wanted to cheat and look up a puzzle solution, how would you even... You'd have to do, like, the hardest creative bit to get this to work. Gosh darn it. I wish it would highlight where the errors were. That would be very cool. Uh, what I think is going to end up happening is the backing is just going to run the length of the edges, you know? And I think the works like this is the solution that just keep all of the crosses as close as they can together, you know? So, But now I have to work to make sure that these don't cross. All right, let's see. So this is a problematic one, but this needs to go somewhere over here, but then that crosses that, uh, which means what? What does that mean? Dude, you know how it makes puzzles super easy? Scissors. You just get scissors and you cut the, the, the line off like that. You would be done in a flash if Rentro just had scissors lying around. 
You know how easy it is to do scissors? They make scissors for children, that's how easy it is. Anyone can do scissors. I know what I need to do. I know what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to look nice and neat. And all that jazz. So let me, let me put this all the way up here. I want to put the problematic pieces almost in a sort of quarantine. This right here is actually looking pretty dang good. Except for this, which needs to go here. This needs to go here. This needs to not cross anything. So let me move everything that's problematic out of the way. And I'll just start working at it one piece at a time. I can put this here. What is this attached to? That is attached to this. I can put this right here. This can go here. This can go here, but then that has to move a little bit. That's crossing. That's crossing. Can I move this over to move this over to give this room and this room to coexist? I can. This one is got a lot going on, so that has to go there. And this has to go there. I got the backing off the portrait. So nice easy. Job. So easy. Should have made it harder. What do I do now? Oh. What's Certificate this? of Spiritual Removal. This is to certify that Ryokan Hiei has been cleansed of all malevolent, disruptive, or mischievous spirits. And upon this day is considered fit only for human habitation. Special attention has been paid to all spaces under beds and within closets. Those areas have been 100% permanently ghost-free, even during the middle of the night. It has been duly noted and added to the public record that all spirits previously dwelling in said domicile are now considered non-resident and shall behave themselves accordingly. At no point will the aforementioned spirits, ghosts, or lurking specters be allowed to return to their previous places of residence without the express permission of all human residents and the residents. Residents in the residence. Savannah Woodham, paranormal expert, A-OK. -okay. And should hold on to this article. an article. Can we hit it with the translator? Probably not. Okay, let's, let's take it first. Can I hit it with the translator in here? Let's see. Boom. This is just a phrase book. Oh. We can't translate something as long as this article. No, we can't translate the article because it's too long. So let's just take this back then. And we're done. We Hi. did it. Uh, do you know anything about the certificate behind the portrait? Do you know anything about the Good certificate question. behind the portrait? Who's Savannah Woodham? She was an investigator. She helped out with the investigation after Kasumi died. Kasumi's the mother, An investigator? by the way. This certificate seems a little less than official. 100%. She was more of a paranormal investigator. I don't really believe in that stuff personally, but Takai wanted her here. Interesting. Why did Takai want a paranormal investigator? I've known Takai since I was a kid. And let me tell you this from experience. It is impossible to guess what she's thinking or why she does them. Uh, what she does. What do you mean? That's five what oh, he means? Six I'm maybe? Sure I lost count. Out. Hopefully someone's keeping track. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh yeah, let's have him Can translate the translate article. Can you translate this for me? Sure. There we go. No. Put this back where you got it. Okay. Hit a soft spot. Sorry, Rentero. Uh, well, thankfully, we're able to take care of that, which is uh, very good. Let's head into a place we have seen before, the baths. We haven't explored this area. I just literally turned around. Through. Okay. Um, oh, dear. Is Nancy Drew a vampire? She has- Oh, there she is. She's hiding in the corner. Nope, there's nothing behind me. Creepy. I believe that's what they call a yure in, uh, Phasmophobia. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the mirror! The mirror's broken. Can I wash my hands? That's not good. Okay. Is there anything... When on the search for ghosts, oh, haunted tours. When on the search for any ghosts, you want to make sure you don't call in any additional bad luck. Here are 13 Japanese superstitions to be aware of. The number four is pronounced she. This is the same as the word for death and is considered very unlucky. As a result, many hotels do not have a room number four or a fourth floor. 
The number nine and the word pain also share pronunciation ku. Though not as unlucky as four, nine is still frequently skipped in numbering rooms or floors in hospitals. Whistling at night will attract snakes. Avoid sticking chopsticks upright into a bowl of rice as it's traditionally part of the funeral ritual. I actually know that whenever I'm eating at chopsticks or with chopsticks at a Japanese restaurant, you're supposed to lay it flat over the top. Don't sleep with your head pointing north. Breaking a comb with the strap of your getta sandal will bring bad luck. Never write another person's name in red ink. Something ha bad will happen to them if they do. Uh, seeing a spider in the morning is good luck, but seeing one at night is bad. Badgers, not cats, are considered unlucky because they wear masks to hide their eyes. If you lay down immediately after eating, you'll turn into a cow. Hide your thumb if a funeral car passes you. Blood type influences one's personality. Never pass food from chopstick to chopstick. This is another funeral ritual. Good to know. Uh, what's this? A trophy? I didn't know someone was a trophy winner. Personal items. I guess we're just robbing people now. This looks important. Uh -huh. I should figure out where I can use it. A credit card. We can use it to donate to Ninja on Twitch. Haha. Uh -huh. I don't know why well, I don't. I've never donated any money to Ninja on Twitch ever. Oh, the actual baths. Awesome. Can we it shower? Looks like something is missing here. Okay. Good to know. Can we take an actual bath? Yes. <sighs> Bath time, baby! Let's go! Okay, very cool. Uh, we have taken care of that now, and we are able to leave. I wonder if there's anything- Oh my gosh, do I- Okay, good, I don't. I can just click the actual button. Let's go to Matsue again. I don't remember where the, the game's corner is. I'll have to figure that out, so maybe someone will tell me. Let's see, is there anything significant going on here now? Still no, we still can't do much, nobody to talk to, that's fine. I think I should probably call it an episode here anyway. Uh, so yeah, we did some pretty productive stuff. I'm not really sure what to do now, besides maybe solve more Sudoku and Nonogram and stuff, but I, there's just no chance that that is what actually helps bring things together, you know? I say is I'm, I'm currently doing the Nonogram now. A renogram just because you know why not um, 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 probably go 20 21 22 uh, shoot um, where, where am I so this is 14 18 19 20 21 22 24 25 where's 26 where's 26 do you see 26 on the board D did it just skip do i not have 26 in my numbers palette okay hold on here's 25 is i i'm I am up, I am baffled. Oh, I put 26 down here. That's the problem. Okay. Um, shoot. I should back up then. Hold on. So this is... Give me 20. Give me 22. Okay, this is 22. That's 24. So then maybe... That's 21. That's 22. That is 22. Which means that's 20. Which means this will be... 14... 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, there's just no way I, get, I move from 19 to 20 that quickly. Closest I can do is that. Where's my 22? Where's my 22? Oh, there it is. So 22 goes there. But that still doesn't make sense. But what if we move 21? Oh, gosh. Okay. 21 here. That just doesn't work. Oh, my gosh. Okay. You know what? Whatevs. We're just we're going to roll with it. All right. So then, this is 14, because this is 15, that's 7, there we go, okay. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, nope, that has to be 24, so then that's 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, nope, 
I guess I could go here to 38. That's kind of trapping me though. 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Yeah, 45. So then this five right here, that needs to be 45 right there, which means five has to go right there. 46. So then this is probably 47 and 48, which means that's 11. 8, 9, 10, 11. No, because then I need access to 12. So then that's that. 8, 9, 10, 11. That doesn't make sense. Gosh, that's really the only direct pathway. Unless maybe that's 2. This is 11. That's 12. This is 10. Which is at 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Is that not it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. E, that 14 is needs to be there. And then that needs Another to be there. Another one down. Okay, we did a number puzzle. I know I said it was going to end the episode, but let's see if redeeming that number puzzle does anything. I don't think it will, because I... I don't think the game has the progress of the math puzzles tied to actual events. There's there's just no chance that that happens, you know? No chance at all. Hi. Is there anything new we can talk to? Oh, the mirror. I'm we should sorry. talk about the mirror. The mirror broke when I was in the baths. But that makes sense. It broke, I saw the image of a woman who wasn't in the room with me. Don't worry, Nancy. I'm sure it was nothing. I have Lintalo take care of it right away. Typical me, Walker. I don't want you to get hurt. But I saw something. I'm sure of it. You work too hard, Nancy san. Up too late, off to teach so early. You must rest more. Your judgment suffers if you do not get enough rest. I know what I saw. Nancy san, please. I have to ask you to let me get back to work. Great. All right. So let's tell Rentro we want another puzzle. Hey. Um, I finished another start with that, then we'll puzzle. ask him about the mirror as go. well. Okay, uh, what happened to the mirror? what happened to the mirror in the baths? Oh, that thing. I thought I hid it a few years no ago. No chance. I put a little hairline crack in it. Its days have been numbered for a while. Sorry That's about ridiculous. breaking it. Oh no, uh, don't worry. I'm just glad you didn't get hurt. Mirrors can be very dangerous when they're breaking. In more ways than one. What do you mean? That's six or oh, seven, what do you mean? Shards of glass and such. Depending Not on the actual count. Uh. Miwako. Uh, let's just be done. I'll stop bugging you now. Bye. I guarantee you, if there's a problem with my. The progress being locked, it's because of my inability to talk to people. That's because I don't like talking to people. Okay, I have an idea though. There's one thing I remember having to do. I want to set an alarm for like 1 a.m. Perfect. Now, if you remember, 1 a.m. is when the um, the front desk closes. So we can snoop behind the front desk. This is something I do remember doing. It's like Drew and Williams are the ones who are left. We can... Uh, Looks like I'll need a password. Okay. We don't have a password, unfortunately. All right. And Suki gets angry if we try and touch the desk. Suki. Uh, Suki. Tate. Suki. Tate. There we go. All right. Suki's aggressive. That's the deal with that. Um, something's going on here. This looks like a puzzle I could probably solve. Um, is it? Aha, uh -huh, it definitely is. Okay. And then this goes here. This is kind of like Tetris. You have to just figure out uh, where to place the items in. So it looks like that needs to go first. Oh, hold on. That one needs to go first, then that, then that. This is like an order of the operations puzzle. Unless it's that, that, that. 
And then what does the green one look like? Aha! Uh -huh. You see the problem, however, is we don't have the red one. So we'll have to remember that for later. How difficult is it remembering all those security codes? Worry no more. Introducing the Krollmeister Card 3000, this latest system in art keycard security systems. Our system uses an 8x8 grid with a unique colored entry code designed by the user. The code is then split and encoded onto five keycards by our team of specialists with extra squares on each card for added security. To open the secured compartment, place the keycards into the slots in the correct layering order and rotate their displays until they match the code on the pattern. All right, so I think we should call it an episode now. I've explored uh, a little bit. Hopefully in the next episode, we can make a breakthrough, find the last train station spot and uh, just move on in general. Uh, so yeah, I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe and tell your friends about the series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you get my videos around. I'll catch you all back here next time for the next episode of my playthrough of Nancy Drew Shadow at the Water's Edge. Until then, as always, take care.